Right, I'm here at the Rawalpindi Golf Club and you can see behind me that the course is looking absolutely majestic and the sun is shining, there's a breeze out here as well and these are uh, perfect conditions for golf to be played here as well and of course this is a tournament that is being organized by Serena Hotels and the Rawalpindi Golf Club as well. It's an invitational annual tournament and obviously after the gap of COVID-19, sporting activities have not yet really come back to normal and I'm talking things apart from cricket but if we talk about golf as well then after eight months it's the first annual invitation tournament that is being held as, here as well and uh, you know a lot to play for here there are about more than 70 to 80 uh, members participating in this tournament more than 80 golfers including uh, the female golfers who are also participating as well they've got members from the diplomatic community members uh, from the government of Pakistan as well and also players are also participating obviously courtesy of Serena Hotels and this is going to be a great tournament nonetheless because you know once you have a gap of uh, about eight months coming back to sporting activities really does the trick and I guess we're going to be having a great time because like I said the weather is pitch perfect and we're going to be taking you throughout the entire course at the same time and would we'll also be giving you uh, a bit of analysis of this tournament and talking to some of the playing uh, golfers as well who are participating in this tournament. <laughs> I have with me now the CEO of Serena Hotels, Mr. Aziz Bulani, who is also taking part in the tournament as well. So let's just talk to him and take an overview of the tournament in general as well. Sir, Assalamu alaikum, how are you? Oh, wa alaikum assalam. All well, alhamdulillah. Sir, uh, first tournament after the break of COVID-19. First of all, uh, do tell us about the initiative and uh, where does Serena Hotels come in place? You know, you are aware that pre-COVID, we were very active in all our sports activities. We have done a lot of uh, tournaments independently and with... Uh, collaboration with Islamabad Club, with Rahul Pini Club uh, on skiing, uh, squash, polo. And after, during COVID, you know, the, uh, all the activities were suspended. And we felt that it's time that we must normalize our activities, ensuring all protocols. So we have joined hands today with uh, Rahul Pini Golf Course. Uh, mashallah, the response has been exceptionally good. We restricted the numbers only to 72 members, and uh, it covers the civilians from the armed forces, diplomats, the government dignitaries. So all are participating. We are all excited. Luckily, the weather is also reasonably well. You can feel the breeze. So hope, inshallah, we will continue all our activities, and we are also planning a polo tournament. So let's see that, uh, and including our cultural diplomacy initiatives and adventure dip uh, diplomacy initiatives. So we are gearing up. So you will see from now till the year end, we will be involving in a lot of activities so that people start living normal life and this we should try and recover from this fear factor. Definitely, sir. It's, it's a bit windy, like you said, good weather, but how's your game going? It, I have played for the first time in this course, and it's not bad. It's not great either, but uh, it's not bad. But definitely difficult terrain as compared to Islamabad Golf Club, isn't it? That's right. That's right, yeah. So best of luck, and hope you tee off some good holes in the front. Thank you very much. Thank you. I have with me now His Excellency Mr. Eric, who is the Ambassador of the Kyrgyz Republic. Sir, good afternoon. How are you? Hey, good afternoon. Thank you. Alhamdulillah. Everything is good. Sir, um, how do you feel about this tournament in general? We understand that due to COVID-19, everything has been shut down. A lot has changed. But now a first tournament of golf, getting outdoors, how does it feel? Yes, thank you. Alhamdulillah. Uh, thank you for the Syrian management and uh, Raval Pindi Golf Club management because uh, as you mentioned now this is a really first time after uh, COVID and uh, we are really appreciate for this because uh, uh, we uh, saw many friends, uh, so many new uh, participants and uh, we are happy. So how's the game going? <laughs> oh game is, uh, uh, Alhamdulillah we are uh, enjoying this game, yes. I also have another player participating in the tournament, His Excellency Ali Ali Zadeh, the Ambassador of Azerbaijan. Sir, good afternoon. How's the game going? Good afternoon. Game is going well. Nice weather, nice game, and we enjoyed a lot. 
And uh, I want to also uh, also to thank organizers Serena and also the Alpini Golf Club for these conditions and for this game after COVID-19. And uh, hope that we will finish successfully. And uh, taking this opportunity, I would like to also to wish all the your viewers good luck and safe. Safe day as well, sir. Uh how important is it for us now to come back to such activities, not just the diplomatic community, but uh, all organizations as well, so we can just get back to the normal diplomacy routine? I think following SOPs, we should timely uh, come back and slowly, slowly uh, to come to our uh, normal life. And uh, if we will follow SOPs, uh, nothing will be happened, I think. Uh, the main thing that uh, take care of ourselves, uh, follow SOPs, and be careful, of course. So best of luck, and we hope that you get a hole-in-one very soon. Hope. Thank you. <laughs>
Sir, uh, how does it feel to be back um, outdoors from the bubble, COVID-19, a, yeah. a bit tense, yeah. but how does it feel to finally be back in the group? Yeah. No, uh, yeah, we are back in the group actually uh, at the Samba Golf Club uh, quite regularly uh, with some precautions obviously. But this was uh, the first time that I got out of Islamabad and you know, something different. Uh, Rabal Pindi, it's a beautiful golf course. I think it's the oldest course around. And uh, so uh, it was a good day today. It wasn't, it, it wasn't that warm. And I think the company was good. Great uh, people to play golf with. A good day and uh, a well-attended uh, sort of uh, tournament. And uh, hats off to Mr. Bulani, I think, for organizing this and uh, bringing us all together uh, for this uh, sports diplomacy, as he calls it. And I think it's a very successful one. So I think it's a good, uh, good, good tournament altogether. It's a bit windy. We understand. How was the game in general? Uh, my game wasn't very good, but I played the first time good. But I was a little tired, obviously, because I'm not a morning person. <laughs> I'm mostly an afternoon person, so uh, you know, to wake up early in the morning and drive all the way. But uh, you know, my wife was also playing, so she she enjoyed it. So that compensated the whole thing. So it's so good. Generally, everything is good. Yeah, thank you so much. But so because Bobby played well, that means you've got a great competition at home and you're on the losing side. <laughs> <laughs> I think so. I think so. If she's winning, that's okay. <laughs> so best of luck. Awesome. Thank, Thank you, you so very much. much. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. We have with us Serena, Senior Manager of Marketing and Communication, Mr. Hussain Odwani. Hussain, a great golf tournament we witnessed here. Uh, tell us about the initiative because we understand that things have been uh, on a hold for about eight to nine months. Definitely. Serena is involved in this sports diplomacy initiative since the last six years. And uh, we have been doing it with uh, the Islamabad Club uh, for the last uh, few years. But uh, this was the first time we collaborated with uh, the Rawalpindi Golf Club and I think uh, it was a great start after the COVID and uh, the participants truly uh, loved the atmosphere, they have a great course, so it was a great collaboration, yeah. A great collaboration indeed as well and things are slowly getting back to normal so we do hope that Serena's initiative would now uh, be coming back to the normal as we know it had been in the past as well, obviously following SOP. Yes, we have been gradually planning to start our programs, especially outdoor programs, so that uh, the social distancing and uh, the SOPs are well maintained. So this was the first thing that we did, and on 10th October we planned to do the Adventurous Hike on 12-6. Uh, that is one of the mega events of Serena Hotels every year. Uh, followed by the uh, Polo uh, Tournament with uh, the Chief of Air Staff uh, Polo event that is happening in December. So, yes, things are picking up and inshallah we hope that uh, it gets back to normal very soon. Well, that's it. We've brought you the real golf in play today here at the Rawalpindi Golf Club, a tournament organized by Serena Hotels. And Sports Extra keeps bringing you this exclusive content as well. You know, after a gap of eight months, getting back to the sporting arena, especially if it's a golf course, does say a lot, gives you goosebumps. We've saw some excellent golf being played as well, and we've also talked 
to the participants, the organizers, and everybody who's been involved with this tournament because they hope that such more initiatives would continue and more such activities on the golf course would keep on being engaged at the same time as well because what they wanted was to get back to the game but responsibly by following the SOPs at the same time as well. That's all we have time for from me, Ahmed Nawaz, and our entire team of Sports Extra from the Rawalpindi Golf Course. It's goodbye for now.